Hey you viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Stratus and welcome to some more bonus content here on the channel. So, recently I did my 13th episode of Crash Bandicoot, where I did Stormy Ascent, that DLC, you know, extra bonus level. And I said at the end of that that um, rather than just going straight into Crash 2 or anything like that, what I wanted to do was take a brief break from Crash just for a moment. Sorry if you can hear my chair squeaking around as I uh, shift about in my seat. But I just wanted to take a brief break from Crash before I went into Crash 2, just to maybe do some other stuff here on the channel. Because, you know, I've got loads of games in my Steam library, plus elsewhere. And um, some of these games, you know, aren't necessarily long. If you look on howlongtobeat.com, for example, some of them might only be short, maybe like two or three hours, something like that. And this, I believe, is one of them. This is Elusis, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this is a horror game that was released in 2013, so it's basically 10 years old now uh, at this point. And um, so, a couple of things. First and foremost, you will notice probably if you look at this on Steam, the reviews for it are kind of mixed. A lot of people say that it's kind of, I don't know, it's not the greatest horror game you'll ever play. But having said that, you know, I'm always willing to try and be open-minded about games. I'm willing to go and give them a shot and see for myself. So I'm going to kind of go into this one with very low expectations. I'm not really expecting it to do that much, but we'll see. Second thing that I think is worth saying is that I believe this is set in Greece. And um, when I say Greece, I believe it's set in modern Greece, that is, not, not um, ancient Greece. But the title Eleusis um, is a reference to... Now, I've, I've maybe mispronouncing this entirely. Is it the Eleusinian Elus Mysteries, which were initiation rites to do with um, the goddesses Demeter and Persephone, if I'm not mistaken, um, if my knowledge of Greek mythology is serving me correctly. So we'll see. So apparently there's like a village in this, um, there's weird stuff going on. So yeah, let's just throw ourselves in, ladies and gents. New game. Boom. It's made on the Unreal uh, engine, this, ladies and gentlemen, in case anyone was curious. Which you probably it was were, September of 1992 when I received a letter from my mother asking me to visit her at our hometown. In the letter, she told me that she wanted to see me, and also mentioned that she wanted to talk to me about my father. That made me curious because my father had died before I was born, and mother rarely talked about him. I decided to travel at night to avoid traffic. After three hours of driving, I reached the country road, and I was getting pretty tired. The country it was dark road. <laughs> Still had a long Take me home, West Virginia, and all that. I, I can't sing. I can't sing that song for the life of me. Yes. Okay. So set up with the uh, set up with the premise of it all. Okay. Landslide. Whoa. Okay. Well, I guess we'll run off the road straight away. Chapter one: The Arrival. So yeah, uh, I think this game is probably around about three hours in length, ish. Assuming, that is, that I don't get stuck on any points and end up having to uh, <laughs> jump cut a load of stuff out, but we'll see. I mean, graphics-wise, 2013 game doesn't look bad, does it? What happened? Okay, you're not going to voice that line then. My car is wrecked, I need to continue on foot to find some help. Of course you do. Sure. Do you not have, like, a mobile phone? And then again, if this is 1992, in that case it's not modern Greece, is it? It's 90s Greece. Just to check... Blah, 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 try that again. Press escape to check the default controls. By going there, if you need to wait. Oh, does the game not actually pause in the background? Do you see, like, the leaves flying? That's interesting. Okay. So my car is... Yeah, it's damaged, essentially. It's taken an absolute beating. A large rock has destroyed my car. Well, it's not really destroyed it, has it? Damaged it, probably. But not destroyed it, because it doesn't look destroyed. Okay, I've got a run option, I've got a crouch, I've got a jump. Okay, well, if there's a run option, that probably means enemies, right? Hang on, I'm just going to check backwards before anything else. It's too far to go on for. I need to find another way, he says. I can still go back though, right? Oh, no, never mind. There's <laughs> an invisible wall. Alright, so we have to go on beyond the car, of course. Reasonable. Makes sense. Absolutely. Just checking, because you never know. So I'm thinking we'll do nice substantial bonus episodes of this, maybe somewhere in the region of like 40, 45 minutes. Somewhere around there. There seems to be a path here. Maybe it leads... is there? Oh, you're talking about this path? Better take my things from the trunk if I head over there. Okay. Could have said that first before letting me go over there, but never mind. Oop. Slightly low rest. A couple of textures in the back of the car there, but never mind. I press I for inventory, J for journal, F for flashlight. Oh. Okay, there we go. I for inventory. There's my journal anyway in that. 
Um, suddenly a big rock seems to have detached from the mountain and fell on my car. The car is wrecked. I need to find some help. That's just the same as what we heard before that one. Okay. Oh, shit. There we go. Press J to get out. Okay, so just pressing escape doesn't... Well, doesn't just straight get you out of there. It also puts you in pause. Oh, there's the path there. Okay. So we do not want to follow the road then? Is it just going to be another... Yeah, another invisible barrier. Okay, well, there's only one way to go then. And that is down the path through the woods. Okay, well, let's go then. I mean, yeah, like I say... Oh, is that a scribbling noise? Found a path near the road, I will follow it. Okay, listen for scribbling noises, everybody. Because that means... Friggin' um, notes being formed in the old journal and all that. All right, maybe stick to the path for now. Don't want to go wandering off into the woods. So I'm wondering if there are monsters in this. Because, like I say, the fact that there is a sprint suggests to me that monsters are going to be a thing. Yeah. Doesn't look bad, does it? For a 2013 game? Pretty good. I mean, graphics are alright, aren't they? But like I say, I'm... Um, oh. oh, okay. I can pick up rocks. Can I throw the rock? Oh, I can. If I right mouse. That's interesting. There's something there on the floor. What's that? Oh, it's just another rock. Okay. Never mind. Now I have to hold down the left mouse button. Come with me, trusty rock. You shall be my assistant in this here adventure. Actually, sorry, I'm going to dump you right away. Bucket. What are you hiding? What are your secrets, Mr. Bouquet? Get in there. Well, someone blocked up the well, apparently. Hmm. You're not the same rock as before, or are you? Or are you? Are you a trusty rock that I had a moment ago? Well, there's a uh, thing over here. Picnic bench. With nothing on it, by the looks of it. Rock, come with me. We shall investigate whatever lies down this path. Investigate together. Oh, there's lights up there. Is this the village? Hello, hello. Rock, go and investigate. There you go. Either someone's got an unruly dog, or there are wolves about. Rock, do you see anything? Get in there. Check it out for me. A little spooky music came in. It's an old village. Maybe we can find someone and ask for help. What was the note? At the end of the path, I find an old village. Maybe something it's the same, basically. Ah. Eee. Well, this is a bit spooky. There's some rustic architecture right here, isn't it? Can I go in there? That's locked. Okay. Right then, right then. That's locked as well. You can see they've got padlocks on them. Huh. Okay. Anything around here, hidden in the undergrowth? So, you know, I haven't yet, obviously, figured out what the game mechanics of this are going to be like, whether it's, um... I don't know, is it going to be a bit like Amnesia the Dark Descent, with, like, opening doors, finding items? That's locked as well. Okay. Is there any door we can go into? That's locked. i got to remember, I've got my flashlight, haven't I? I've got my flashlight to see around, bitches. i got to remember, I can jump to. Can I get over there? Hit! Yeah. Yeah. Hit! Not over this very low wall. I can't jump over it. Never mind. Hello. Oh. Well, someone left the water running. Big tree here. All right. Well, the furniture's all. Is that blood? <laughs> okay. Help! Oh. I think I heard that from the village's entrance. Who helped? Who said they need help? Who said help? Not where? When? Not how? Why now? Wait. Oh god. Ugh. Oh, thank Jesus. god you heard me. They locked me in. Please, help me get out. What happened? Where's the key? They took the key with them. As they were leaving, I heard one of them say to the other, In vino veritas. I hope that makes sense to you. Who locked you in? And why? Just hurry, and I'll explain everything to you later. They could come back any moment now. Jesus. Just her face suddenly peering out from that gap actually freaked me out for a second. I was like, ugh. In vino veritas. You don't sound very Greek, lady, I'm just saying. So I've got to find a key. Alright. I'm assuming it's not going to be far away from where we are at the moment. Basically, every door feels like it's locked. What's that? Uh, I don't know. Something. I'm not sure what. Yeah, shiny water. Ooh. A deep ravine or something off over there. Okay, sure, sure. I mean, yeah, it looks decent enough. It's clear water. Okay. It's clear water. It's clear water, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ, sorry. <laughs> I do apologise. <laughs> That's, uh, oh. 
Okay, well that opens. That's got a save point up there. Alright, so top right is where the save icon is. Hang on, is there something up here? Anything up here to look at? Ooh. Key hidden under the... No. Oh. Dang it. You see, in any adventure map, I feel like, in an adventure game or adventure map or if any game or whatever, I feel like that's where you'd have a key just hidden under the mat. There is an interior to this building, which makes me think that at some point we're going to be able to go in there. Just saying. So, where are the key at, ladies and gentlemen? Can I not jump up there? No. Okay. Okay, okay, we're going this way then. We're going this way. We're going to see what is hiding down this route. I can't really do a Greek accent at all. I should talk like Judas from the Forgotten City. But then again, my Greek accent probably ends up sounding like fucking Russian or something like it did just then. Hang on. There's a way down there. Or well, we can go into the cellar. Huh. Where's my flashlight? There's a strong swell of mine, uh, mine, wine in here, but it's pretty dark. I need to get the light on. Maybe I can use this old Jenny. Out of gas, I need to find. Okay, right. Is it going to be one of those games where it's going to be very much like an item hunt? I have to go around and look for stuff. All right. Yeah. Okay. So I need gas for the Jenny to light up the cellar, to find something, to find a key for another house, to go into the house, to find a strange talisman or object that will enable me to open up another door that enables me to find the key to release the woman. Who knows? Something like that, maybe. That's locked as well. Surely you couldn't just climb over it, mate. Good lord. All right. Gas. There's going to be some gas around here. Has anybody got the gas? Or petrol. Okay, I think my flashlight just seems to have stopped working unless I'm pressing the wrong button. Inventory still works, journal still works. Okay, i got to remember this is here. So I can, um... Actually remember what I'm doing. So, in vino veritas means... It's Latin, it means the truth is in the wine. Okay, so that's telling me that I need to basically, yeah, get the wine cellar lit up so I can actually see what the fuck I'm doing. Oh. So there's a little moped down here. What the? Oh, gas left in it. Ha! Ah, it's an old Vespa. Seems to be some gas inside, so I need a container, do I? Hang on. Uh, is there a container? Maybe a jerry can back in that cellar or something like that? I don't know. Oh, there's a door there. I didn't even realise. Hold your horses. Okay, this might be very much a sort of back and forth game, potentially, as we sort of figure out what we need. Why is my flashlight only stopped working? I had it working a moment ago, but now it's just not doing anything. Do I need to want to use one of these things, one of these little funnels is? Alright, well, it doesn't look there's anything really in here. Huh. I'm assuming we need special objects in order to siphon gas from someone's Vespa, or whatever it is. Let me just see. Is this right? Do I need this? Is there a reason I can pick these objects up? Eh. Put. Well, actually, how's that going to work? It's just a funnel. All Vespa seems to be gas inside. Okay, well, let's go down here, then. Let's go down into nature and see what the deal is. There's like a running river down there. River, river, river. Hello. Hello. Anyone down here? Anything down here, rather? Oh. I don't know if this is necessarily where I want to be, is it? Well, I could just go in the water, apparently. Do I want to do that? I don't know. Mm. Do we want to be down here? What am I hearing? Oh. There's a friggin' thing there. Oh, is that a jerry can or something? What is that? Can I get that? Hello? Empty container. This could be useful. Aha! You see, now we're getting somewhere. We've just got to look around, basically. Find objects. I just guess that's how this, uh, this game's going to be. Okay. Alright, so maybe we can uh, now siphon off some petrol from the Vespa? Right. Is this all I need? I don't know. What is it then? Says, sorry, you need tubing or something as well? Uh, do I need to get it out of my inventory? Ooh. Empty jerry can. Need something to help me extract the gas first. Well, I had a funnel before. Oh, don't need to put it back. I do. There we go. What was that funnel that I dropped? Yeah, so it definitely needs a tube or something. Okay, uh, where would a tubing be? There's not going to be, like, more stuff out here, is there? Just hidden around somewhere? Oh, look at that. See, yeah, I feel like you can't fault the game for... Ooh, 
Well, there's a path that goes off over here by the looks of it. Hello? Oh. Oh, an axe. Can I have the axe? Duh. Oh! Hey! Oi! 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 What's that? Who did that? Somebody just tried to fucking get me with logs. Hmm. Can I do something with my axe to them? Eh. Can I, can I log them? That doesn't work. Okay. Never mind. That's not it. That is not the answer. Doesn't work at all. You're not going to write down anything in your notebook about the fact that somebody just tried to kill you with logs? Assuming someone tried to do that. I can go over here. Oh god, I don't know if I'm supposed to be over here. That's the problem. In fact, I don't think I am. This is just the woodland. I'm probably getting off the path here. It's probably not where I need to be. Alright, well, are there any other paths, actually, going off through the undergrowth? That's the question, isn't it? Maybe there are. Maybe there's paths that go elsewhere. So, what does one need for siphoning the gas? I'm just listening in case there's anything else in the water. Hmm. 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 It's funny that I can actually go over here. Is there a purpose to that? Don't know. It's a very foggy off over here. God, we can go wandering quite far, can't we? That's a, uh, interesting thing. Can we go further down? Is there any point to going wading in this river? Oh, we can't get past this terrible fallen tree. <laughs> right, I guess that's the boundary of the map right there, isn't it? Am I supposed to be here? I don't know if I am. Alright, maybe there's something back in the village that I can find. Like a piece of plastic tube or something that I can use to siphon the gas. The gas, gas, gas. Right, so I picked up an axe, don't know what I need it for, but... Ooh. Oh, okay, move those. I think there's anything hidden underneath any of these stumps. God, my character's strong. If he can just pick those up and throw them around. Good lord. Alright, I don't think there's anything over here. So yeah, I, I, th I get the feeling this is obviously going to be more of like a puzzle game as well, by the looks of it. No, I imagine, I, well, I would say I imagine there might be different puzzles, but I don't know, we'll see. I imagine they'll have a diversity of puzzles other than just finding objects, right? Oh, careful. Jesus. There's nothing else around here, was there? Nothing else I can pick up? Hmm. It doesn't look like it. Nothing with a waterfall, or... Mm, not by the looks of it. I mean, my flashlight just seems to have stopped working all of a sudden, which is not a good sign. Eesh. Alright, well that's dark over there. I think that's just the map boundary. I don't think we can go over there, can we? Well, no reason to be over there, so... Using whatever I'm looking for, it must be in the village. Surely. I don't know why I'm wasting my time down here. Uh, let's go around. Back up. B -b -b back up. Maybe we need the axe for something else. Maybe we need the axe to unlock or open something up so that we can go somewhere else in order to get tube for siphoning stuff. Can I can I smash Vesper open? <laughs> Don't need to smash it. Okay, fine. So the axe is for something else. Okay. Can I climb these vines? Nope. This is not Minecraft. Can't do that. Alright. What would I need the axe for? That's the question. Uh, oh. Oh. There was just a tube on that. Okay. It was just there this whole time. So I just wasted all my time down there by the river. Well, should have anticipated something like that. Okay, surely tubing works, right? Hose, maybe? Huh. Aha! Now I need something to pour the gas in. I just got the thing for you there, buddy. Boom. Fill me up. Sorry, no, fill up the can, rather. It is full now. Cool. Can we... Okay, I guess we don't need to take that. <laughs> it now says full on it. Okay. Good to know. Alright, so now we activate the Jenny to... Uh, switch on the lights, that's right. Down here. Here we go. I was wondering if someone was going to appear in the darkness, but... Fill that bad boy. Fill that bad boy up. 
Not going to have to like, pull it a few times. There we go, the lights are on. Thank God, so we've got a save point. Eesh, just checking outside. Alright, now that we can see, what have we got in here? Boxes, or rather, punnets, I guess. For moving fruit and vegetables around. Oh. We can knock on these. Oh. Okay, that one's empty. Do I have the right object? Aha! You see? Key. There is a key inside. This must be the key to the locked room. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? Someone's coming. Oh, do I not need to do this myself? Okay, it's doing it for me. Hide in the corner. That's it. Who's there? Oosh. Oh. Hello, mysterious cloaked figure coming down from gate. Well, at least you've opened that now. Where are you going? Oh, boy. Is it going to be some cult nonsense? Is that what this is going to be? What are you, a cultist? Something like that? I don't know. Well, you opened up a route for me. That's the important thing, whoever you are. I think he left now. Gee, I think. Oh, I got the key, though. Key I found in the cellar. There we are. Well, I don't need to reactivate that. Oh, God. Why did that go to a cutscene? Huh. Woo! There were two of them. Lovely. Well, that's not good. Where the fuck am I? Where are you taking me? Okay, well, that was meant to happen then, I guess. Hello? Where do you drag me to, strange man? Strange Man in Hood, Chapter 2. Oh, okay. The Search. Interesting. Oh, God, what the heck? The hand icon just came up then, but then it just disappeared. Right, hold on, my chair is being a bit of a bitch. It's, like, lowering me. Let me just pull that back up. Let me just pull that back up, I say. Where am I? What's going on out there? Ugh. Hoeing the ground? Oh god, is he digging a grave? I can move my arm and push the lid. Oh. Oh god, they're trying to bury me. Oh. Oh, he ran off. I don't know why he ran off. I need to get to the one before they do. Do I actually still have... I uh, don't have the key. That's a bit of a problem. Oh my god, they were going to bury me alive. Jesus. I mean, that guy could have just whacked me in the head with his fucking shovel or something, could he not? In order to deal with me? Okay, okay. That's lit up over there, but what's this? Like a little ruined church chapel doodad? Looks like it, doesn't it? Nothing in here. God, it's pouring with rain. Nice rain effect, though. It actually looks pretty damn cool. I like it. So is that basically uh, where all the budget for this game went? Went into the uh, graphics? Okay, that's obviously in Greek lettering. 1924, 1989. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Oh, I just picked up matches. Yep. No, can I not get... No, I don't want the candle. Right, so I picked up matches. A box of matches. I guess they might come in useful somewhere. Okay. We're just checking around the rest of the graveyard. I know there's a woman who is locked in a room and I'm probably supposed to be getting to her first, but... You know what? If this is going to be one of those kind of games where... Oh. Where I need to, um examine my environment for things that I can pick up. It's probably worth just, you know, looking around, seeing what the deal is. Okay, that's broken up. Okay, let's go. Let's get out the graveyard and figure out where the hell we are. Oh, there's a lantern back there. I should get it first. Oh, where's the lantern? What? Oh, oh, that thing. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, got it. Press L to toggle lantern on or off. Okay, so it's a bit like... Yeah, it's a bit like amnesia. Except you don't actually see the lantern. Okay, well, might as well keep it on. I wonder if there's a uh, purpose to um, switching it on and off, though. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, it's my trusty rock. He came back. Oh, he's got my back. Hey, rock, did you see where the weird uh, live-action role-player dude in his cloak went? He's trying to be one of the ring raids out of Lord of the Rings, because he's a nerd. 
What did he get off to? I'm going to beat his head in with a rock. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to whack it down on him real hard. I'm going to be like, yeah, take that, Mr. Ring Wraith, bitch. You're not so strong now, are you? Alright, over here then. Uh, it's locked too. Well, there's another rock around here. There's more stuff around here. It's all this. Box. Barrel. Pallets. Okay, that's not anything useful by the looks of it. Take oh, take rock for self-defence. Right, where are we? We're about to in the village is this. This is an aspect of it that we haven't seen. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, here we are. You see? Ah, alright, we're on the upper level. Okay. I see, I see, I see. Wait, I probably should go and... Oh, God, it's open. Okay, well, I don't think she's going to be in there anymore, is she? I'll keep the light on. Hello. Too late. I must have taken her. I have to track them down. Maybe we can find more clues at the houses around the village. Um. Oh, God, it's all, like, just filling up. Uh, where are we? I was knocked out by someone wearing a black hood. I woke him inside a coffin. It seemed he was trying to bury me alive. I managed to get out, but he got away. He has the key I found in the cellar. I must get to the one before they do. Too late. Must have taken her. Yeah, same as before. Is there anything else in here I can look at? Jesus. <laughs> so I get a racket. All right. Uh, oh, tin can. Was that all you had for food, lady? All right, well, nothing else in there. All right, so they've um, opened up the upper level, which is good. So I guess we just investigate up here, then. Urgh. Hello. Oh, that's a little square down there. All right. Wait, is there something in this alleyway? Ooh. Oh, I can't go any further. I'll have to go behind the houses as well at some point. Oh, luckily, there's a route right through there. Cartwheel! Have that. Trusty rocks. Lovely jubbly. That's locked as well. Does this just go... Aha! This goes down here. Okay. So we can investigate the other houses as well at some point. Well, let's have a look at the little alleyway behind. Behind over here. Oh. Any back doors? Anything I can go through? Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a football. <laughs> Somebody left a football lying around. Well, if all else fails, we can always mess around with that, can't we? Can I go up there? To that building? That's a path right here. <laughs> do what I'm trying to do. Jumping up. What's the deal with this? They've even got a balcony on this one. Oh. Aha! I knew at some point there'd be a key hidden under one of the fucking things. Key found under a doormat. Does it go for this one? Yes, it does. Hello. Is it still raining inside? Oh no, never mind. It's just a weird effect. When you're technically outdoors, it still shows rain inside, but then you go in, it's fine. Okay, okay. What is that supposed to be? It's like a big fluid container thing. Oh, oh God, the crockery's having a bit of a fun time. Oh, he can't smash the crockery. Oh, jeez. <laughs> See the sound made by the utensils as you scrape the drawers in and out. Wow, just a singular can. Oh, actually, never mind. Actually, there's a couple of them in there. Well, that's a bit of a meagre supply, but um, never you mind. Oh, gas canister. Oh, Jesus. Wow, that's an old stove, that is. Chest, anything in there? Oh, careful. Oh, nothing but linens or whatever. God, this is a very Spartan old house, this, isn't it? Oh, God, you have to crouch to get up to the upper floor. Good Lord. Oh, there's the balcony. Hello, hello, hello. Any reason for being out here? Not by the looks of it, no. Shut that door for now. God, you don't even have a bathroom in this place. That's how you know it's an old school property. It's a fixer-upper, as the estate agents of the world would say. Here's the key to the general store. Don't forget to bring two bottles of wine and some batteries. Oh. Ah. God, that's like blending in, that is. Key to the general store. Okay. We've just got a save point there, ladies and gentlemen. All right, all right. So it was worth coming up here. Can we interact with that radio on the table? Do we get any banging tunes? No, radio doesn't seem to work. Maybe we could use some of its parts. Ooh. How do I disassemble it? Can I do that? Can I disassemble the radio? If I can walk over there. Yeah, I can't pick it up, though. I can pick that up, though. Okay, well, um... You've got forks, you've got spoons. Do you not have any knives in here? Okay, apparently not. Right, so we'll probably we need maybe a screwdriver or something in order to open the radio, maybe. Open that up. I'm guessing so. Alright, so general store. 
got a key for the general store. We just need to figure out where that is. Is there a path that goes off down here? Ah, oh, there is. Hello. Do I want to go down here? Um. Oh, God. Uh, is it worth going off down here before it really sends me down here? It's probably going to send me down here at some point anyway, isn't it? Where does it loop around to, though? It goes in a big circle. Ah. Oh, okay. Oh, what's this? It's like a weird little fenced off bit. Hello? It'll go in there? Is there a way in? I don't actually know. Is there something in there that's worth me looking at? It doesn't look like it, does it? So the path's off over here and it goes off over this way. Hello? Oh, where am I going? I'm getting... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a... Wait, no, this is the graveyard, isn't it? Oh, wait, no, no, it's not the graveyard. That is... a villa of some kind. Okay, good to know that's there. All right. Oh, see anything sort of draw in, then? Weird. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the general store. Let's not get sidetracked. This is one of those games, I think, I'm getting the sense that I could get very easily sidetracked in if I start exploring every possible route. Whereas probably what I should do is concentrate on what items I've got and what it says in my journal, and then probably... That way, I can stay on track. Right? A little chapel over there. Cool. It's very Greek. Mm. Right, so where would the general store be? Is that it down there, the one with the sign over the door? Kind of looks like it probably is. I just That would make sense to me anyway. Alright. A strange little village. Let's go through here then. Uh, this one. Yeah, I don't know what that says, but I'm assuming that maybe is the Greek for general store? That won't do. Cannot use that here. Cannot use this here. Can't use this here. Oh. Oh, this is the general store, I'm guessing. So what does that say? Any Greek speakers in the chat? Hmm? Sorry, in the chat? What am I saying? This isn't a fucking Twitch stream. It's not live. Any Greek speakers down in the comments is what I should say. Okay, actually you can click on it. It says general store. Okay, what does that say then? Coffee house. Oh, they got like a little coffee shop. I guess. Yeah, it makes sense. Have a little coffee shop or a taverna or something. Huh. Oh, I thought maybe I could press that. Okay, what are we looking for in here, then? Something to pick up. What's that? Tried? What is that? Is that like some sort of chemical thing? If you have hard... Oh, is it like water softener? I don't know. That's strange. Oh, hello. Aha! The scale broke, so take it to the blacksmith. He's out of town, but he left me the key to his store. Leave it there. Okay. Another key. The note next to it says it's for the blacksmith's workshop. Maybe we can find something useful there. Where's the blacksmith, though? That's the question. I haven't seen the blacksmith. Oh, he's got like a horseshoe under here for some reason. So he said take the scales to him? These things? Okay. I, I mean, I don't think I would want to take the scales, but I should get the, get the batteries. Oh, there's batteries in here? Batteries? Where are the batteries? Are they in here somewhere? The batteries? Did they miss the batteries? The batteries. Oh, there they are. God, the big chunky batteries. That's what they are. Okay. Now I can use your flashlight. Or use my flashlight, rather. Okay. So I've got the option of the lantern, which I guess lights up a sort of immediate area around me. Or I can go with a flashlight that has like a beam directly ahead of me. It's like car headlights. That's what it is. You know, low beam, full beam. There we go. All right, blacksmith. B -b 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 blacksmith. Where the fudge would the blacksmith be? Can we go in the church? No. Of course we can't. But there's definitely an interior. So we're probably going to be able to go in there at some point, right? Blacksmith. So that's the coffee house. Will the blacksmith have a sign? That's the question. Will he have a sign to tell me where he is? What's that noise? That sounded like a door creaking open, not going to lie. Alright, blacksmith. B -b blacksmith. Wait. Is this the same building model that was used for that other one on the hill. It looks like it. Well, I'm not... Well, I'm not... I'm not yeah, that building up there. <laughs> Same sort of model, isn't it? Not that I'm complaining, you know. I can understand if they sort of copy-paste one or two buildings just to fill the village up a bit. Right, so where the fuck is the blacksmith? That's the question. Is he going to be down around here somewhere? Uh, one of these buildings? I don't know. He's got a thing there. What's that? Do I just take this key and test on 
as many doors as possible. I don't know. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. I don't know. If you do be careful, that's not a blacksmith, but I'll test it anyway. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a sec. Have you got a key under here? Damn it. It'll work one time, but it won't work again, will it? Ladies and gentlemen, that's the thing. Right. Check all. That's the coffee house. I don't know why I'm even trying that. That doesn't work there. Can't get to the, that door there, but mm, that doesn't go there. Just test everything and see what works. Turn that on. There we go. That doesn't work either. Okay, so it's none of these buildings. None of those. Been in that one up there already, so I don't need to worry about that. It's not that. It's not that. Is it going to be one of these? No. No. No, the answer is I'm afraid of it. That, that does not work. It is not work, old boy. It's not that one. It doesn't work there either. Not that one. And now we're just getting outside of the village. Hang on, there's not going to be anything down there, is the Blacksmith, 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 where are you? Where are you at? I don't know where the hell the blacksmith is. That is the problem. Le problem. There's that cartwheel that I chucked around before, because I could. Um, hmm. Let me just get that key icon off the screen before it winds people up. Um, so, oh, wait a minute. Oh, hang on, there's this building out here. I forgot about this one. Is this a blacksmith? Oh, try this one. No. So it's not that one. There weren't any other buildings back the way I came towards the graveyard, were there? By any chance? Perchance were there buildings that I missed? Or is it actually the big sort of villa? Is that where it is? That's not the graveyard up there. Is there a path that goes off up here? It looks like it. Maybe there's something up in this direction. Hello? Hello? Anyone hanging out in the wilderness up here? Does anybody know where a blacksmith might be located within this vicinity? Ooh, what the heck? There's like a creepy ravine off down here. Yeah, I can keep that on. I don't have a lantern anymore? Oh, no, I do. Yeah. Hmm. What is this? Sort of going off the beaten path a bit. Well, no, no, not really. I'm still on the path technically. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, is that the bridge? Oh! That's a dude. Wait, okay, he's running away from me. Get back here, you bitch. I've got a key and I'm not afraid to stab you in the eyeball with it. What the fuck are you doing, boy? Oh, I see you running off in the fucking distance there. I see you. I see you, you little shit. I'm coming for you. I got a key and I'm not afraid to use it. Wait, do we have a hedgerow off over there? Oh, shoot. Oh, God, do I go... Is that a gap that I can go through? There is a path in here. Yes, there is. But where the fuck's the blacksmith? That's the question. Okay, I'm getting distracted immediately by something else. Sorry, I've still got this key equipped. I don't know why. Hold on, let me put that away before it annoys everybody. Hmm. So the path goes off down there. Oh my god, I've come really far out. Yeah, that's definitely the bridge from the main menu. Hang on, what's this? Ooh. Okay. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Hello? Oh, is this just blocked off over here? Oh. Hello? Ah. It's a rope ladder, it seems that someone's cut it. I need to find a way up there. Okay, maybe there's a, a step ladder or something around somewhere that we can find. What are you doing? Step ladder? Okay. Hmm. Let's have a look. I wasn't actually paying attention to the top right there in case it gave me a checkpoint, but we should probably be looking to uh, start wrapping up. Maybe not immediately, but sometime fairly soon for this first episode. I mean, then again, we could always go to like an hour or so for the first episode if we wanted to. You know? I don't see why not. Alright, maybe uh, let's go back to the path over here and see if we can go down the other route, maybe. The other route that was off over there. Let's just see where we're going, where the freaking bloody... Lord of the Rings live action role player went running to. Are you down here, sonny? Listen, I just want to join your group, okay? I can play a good Gimli. We have to toss me. Like that, see? It's my good Gimli impersonation. We have to toss me. Now, what is this area? Looks like a dead end. Well, I'm just going to say no, it's not. There's going to be something about this area. 
There's got to be something around here, right, that I can pick up? Something hidden, maybe? Watch the deal over here. Ah, okay. So where did... Where did our live-action role-playing friend get to? He disappeared. <gasps> oh no! He doesn't want to hear my Gimli impersonation anymore. In fact, it was probably so bad that that's why he ran away. Well, I'm sorry, but uh, you have to toss me! Hmm. Okay, well, there's nothing over here. So basically, I've just run off the path that I didn't need to go, but at least I found that rope ladder thing. So I know that that's there. If ever I need to go back to it, I don't know. Let me just drink up my tea. Oh. Hmm. Ugh, sorry, I'm playing one-handed. There we are. Uh, something with this big tree here? No. No, 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 no. Right, back to the bridge, I think. We need to go back to the village. I have no idea where the friggin' blacksmith is located. The only other place I can think of is the big fella, but again, that doesn't really feel like a blacksmith's place. It feels just more like a rich local dude's place. Just saying. Okay, I wish I could sprint a bit faster than this. I've been holding down shift pretty much the entirety of this playthrough so far. This episode. Because look, that's my default walking speed and it is bloody slow. Good lord. Alright, where are we? Take me back to village. Now the one thing that obviously um, could always be a problem with this kind of game where you have to do like item hunting or hunting locations is um, the danger for the pacing to be sort of disrupted. So that's always something... Oh, wait a minute. Hold it. Oh, there's something up here. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. I just saw the silhouette of it through the mist. I was like, wait, what is that? What is that I'm looking at? There's a building down there. Which building is that? Huh. Wait yeah, a fucking second. Which building's this? Can I sit in this building? No. I can't sit in this building, can I? Does unlock any of them here? Uh, come here. Yeah. Oh, of course, he's got, like, the horseshoe on the thing, hasn't he? Oh, he's got a vice. Used to hold objects firmly. Okay. I wasn't supposed to bring those scales with me, was I? I hope not. Do you have anything else in here that might be of use? Why have I come here? Oh! Oh, a, a rake? A rake? What the hell do you need a rake for? What do you mean it could be useful? What are you fucking going to do with a rake, buddy? What good's that going to do ya? Yeah? He's got a jenny. Oh! Huh. Screwdriver! 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 Radio. I could take this back to the radio. Good night. Oh! Jesus. <laughs> Get rid of them. There we are. Uh, okay. Maybe... Oh, is that one of the... Ah, uh, that might be one of the buildings. Oh, hang on. It's that thing there. Okay, right. That helps me determine where everything is in relation to one another. Okay, hang on. What was that other one that I saw? Staircase off over here. What's this? Oh, it's shut. Meaning we probably can't go to it. That's locked. Okay, never mind. Alright, so we know that we need to take this uh, thingy bobber, the um, screwdriver, back to wherever the radio was. It was in one of the other houses. Shoot. Oh no, wait, was it this house actually up here? Come to think of it, it might have been. Crap. Uh, are we going to get a save point at some point, please? I haven't seen it in the top right for a while, actually. That's a bit of an issue. Alright, go around up here then. Up here to this other house and we'll unlock radio with the with thingy bobber. With screwdriver. Because sure, this is what this is for, right? I have no idea what the fuck I need the bloody thing for. The rake. Unless we're going to do a spot of gardening, who knows. <laughs> Alright, take this magnet out. There we go, got a save point. Right, magnet could be useful, apparently. I've still got the screwdriver, though. That's interesting. Okay, but since we just reached a save point there, I think we'll make this Elusis Episode 1, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so I get the feeling this is very much going to be a puzzle-y sort of horror game, where there's going to be a lot of going back and forth, figuring out where I need to be, etc., etc. So, I mean, here's the thing. So, considering all the mixed reviews for this on Steam, I mean, graphics-wise, it looks good. But we'll have to see where it goes. So if this is going to turn into a bit of an item hunt sort of game, then I could foresee there being problems if there's any sort of point in that where the item you're supposed to be hunting is not clear or is so like absurdly well hidden that it's easy to overlook. I could foresee there being pacing issues around that potentially, but we'll see. I mean, so far I feel like I've made progress because I 
been in sort of paying attention to my journal and that's been helping. So we found the rope ladder that we need to do something about. We've got the magnet, but I don't know exactly what the uh, magnet would be for or the rake. So God only knows. Um, I'm sure maybe that'll come become more apparent later on. But um, yeah, what do we need a magnet for? I'm not entirely sure. Like, have we seen something that we can use the magnet on? I don't know. We'll have to see. All right, well, I'll try and do some more of this uh, sometime soon. As, you know, a bit of bonus content on the channel. Get through some of the games in my Steam library and all that. So Facebook do links down below, along the link to my propagandist channel for anyone interested. And if you enjoyed, a like is, of course, always appreciated. But other than that, I'm signing off now. Goodbye, everybody. This guy's over there. There we go, shot one of them. <laughs> Just like get a lucky shot off, eh? Go, 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 go. We have to hurry up. It's funny how in this game you can't really sprint. This is just your maximum speed. Up. Up here. Up. Wait. Okay. I'm waiting for it. Ah. Oh god, it's a big train full of stuff. Here we go, here we go. Go on, go on, go on. Boom. Oof, Jesus. <laughs> we got rid of the armoured train, all right. And did a bit of sabotage work while we're at it. Fucking A plus, guys.